Well, we are talking to entrepreneurs, and that means this has to be Radio Entrepreneurs. My name is Jeffrey Davis. I'm the host and uh, having a great time. We're sitting in Hanover, Massachusetts. That means we must be at the world headquarters for PR First, and that means Jim Farrell is my co-host. Hi, Jim. Hello, Jeffrey, and it's uh, good to have you all here today. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. You did a great job of hosting us. Nice facilities and that breakfast. It's carbolicious. <laughs> <laughs> Our pleasure. <laughs> I just got a thumbs up from Chris, who loves his carbs. Right, all, he, all Chris was missing was a little pepperoni and cheese on those carbs. We will put that on the list for next time. <laughs> uh, our next guest, someone you know very well, uh, Itamar, uh, one name basis. Everybody just knows him as Itamar from Rockland Trust. Hi. Hi. Hello. Great to, to be here. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the banking industry is changing a lot. Tell us what's going on. What's going on? We are really, really busy. The industry is uh, doing well. Cust businesses are doing well, and uh, we are working really hard to servicing servicing these customers. And you specialize a lot in helping businesses take that first step, and for some of them, the established ones going a step further. Uh, maybe tell us a little about the business uh, banking side of what you do. I work with uh, small businesses, business owners typically, and I help them uh, make uh, strategic decisions. I help them uh, solve uh, problems or find solutions to problems or, or find resources that can help them uh, uh, either take the business to a next level or uh, uh, overcome some challenges, may they be uh, uh, in marketing or in, uh, in uh, uh, cash flow. It, it really, it's uh, all inclusive. Uh, work with the businesses and help them grow. What I've heard you talk about in the past is how sometimes the role of a banker has changed a lot and uh, you're, no, you're not just someone who looks at someone who wants to process a loan. As you said, you help them with all aspects of their business. Not just a pretty face. <laughs> Good face for a radio, huh? <laughs> so tell, tell us about the kinds of, not necessarily the names, but some of the industries that, that you work with. Uh, Rockland Trust is pretty much uh, work with pretty much any type of industry uh, uh, all across Massachusetts, Rhode Island. Uh, we do have customers outside of Massachusetts, but that's not the norm. Massachusetts, Rhode Island is where we, we operate. Um, and we work across the gamut from retail to manufacturing to uh, real estate, uh, just any type of business. And you have a, a background especially suited to what you, you now do. Maybe you might tell us a little bit about uh, what you did before. Prior to joining the bank, I worked as an individual, independent consultant working with small business owners, and I helped them make strategic decisions in reference to their financing, not the financials, the financing. Um, one of the things that uh, small business owners fails to fail to see is how a financing transaction that takes place today will affect the business decisions in three or four years from now. So um, uh, businesses hired me to help them strategically plan their financing so uh, they don't find themselves in compromised positions later down the road. At some point, Rockland Trust heard about me and recruited me, and here I am. Mm -hmm. How long have you been there? Eight years. Eight years. Yeah. Wow. How would you describe banking today for you th than what it was eight years ago? Well, eight years ago was difficult. As you know, it was the, the recession. Uh, it, to, uh, uh, to a large extent, the banks were not lending at the time. Uh, one of the things about Rockland Trust, that regardless of the uh, recession, they were lending at the time um, because they didn't get caught in, in the previous uh, um, issues that other uh, banks have found themselves. Rockland Trust was uh, uh, lending throughout the recession, but generally it was really difficult. Today it's much easier to uh, get money. It's, it's rel readily available and ready to go. Interesting. Uh, now, uh, do you mostly work predominantly on the South Shore or do you c really cross all ge geographies? I spend most of my time on the South Shore, but not exclusively. I, I got customers in the North, uh, North Shore, in, uh, in the Worcester area, in, in, in Rhode Island. Do you find any differences, particularly in those different regions of, of uh, the area? No. In general, generally speaking, businesses are doing very well. Uh, the businesses who survived the recession have learned to be much more efficient. Uh, 
uh, learn to operate with uh, smarter, I guess. Um, and the new businesses are enjoying the uh, what's happening in the market and they're, and they're thriving. So, and what's and what's your background prior to the bank? Ooh, uh, that's a long story. Well, we have a I, couple uh, of minutes left. <laughs> I. Um, I uh, managed uh, three three businesses prior to coming to the United States. Um, I had um, managed th three three businesses at the, at the same time. I mean, and um, then came to America. Uh, had a few years in the food industry, a few years in the uh, car industry. I financed a lot of uh, what's called rolling stock, uh, which is anything that moves on its own. Uh, and then I had uh, several years as a independent consultant, and then the banking industry. So you really had a lot of good general business experience, which helps you with looking at businesses. That is true, yeah. Right. Now, Jim, you had a question also, I right? I do. And speaking um, that you are an entrepreneurial family, um, I under we understand that there's been a new business acquisition within your family. I wonder maybe if you might tell us a little bit about that. It's separate, of course, from the Rockland Trust work that you do. I'll be happy to. And, and it, actually, it, it actually has a benefit to me as a banker as well. Uh, my wife and I recently uh, purchased a, a, a travel agency, um, uh, something that she wanted to do for a, a long period of time, and it finally uh, came to fruition. Uh, but as a banker, it allowed me. I financed. <coughs> I financed a lot of uh, business acquisitions. Uh, I've been uh, involved in a variety of transactions, from small to larger. And uh, having gone through the process myself, I think makes me a, a simply a better banker uh, mm -hmm. I, because now I went through it from a buyer's point of view as well. Is there any like one bit of advice maybe you would offer to someone who is in business and is Thinking about establishing a relationship uh, with a banker if he or she doesn't have one, what are the kinds of things that you would advise someone to look for? I think the most important piece that they have to look at is the culture of the bank. Look uh, historically how the bank has been performing, how have they been uh, dealing with, with customers, how, the, how were they working with problem customers? Uh, one of the great prides that I see is, is working for Rockland Trust is the way we handle transactions where customers are having challenges. Uh, we, we work with them and we try to help them, uh, um, you know, uh, move through those, those issues. Um, and m many banks w would not go that, that far. Um, so I think the most important thing is to understand the culture of the organization, how they deal with, 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 with their, the customers, what are their priorities. Uh, and then work with somebody that they genuinely feel comfortable with. Itamar, if somebody wants to find you, contact you at uh, Rockland Trust, how would they do that? My first name, I-T-A-M-A-R dot C-H-A-L-I-F at rocklandtrust.com or my phone number is 508-280-7510. Great. This is your second time on the show. You know three's the charm, so you're going to have to book another one. Sure, next week. <laughs> Whenever you and Alex and, and Jim decide. Again, I want to thank uh, Jim Farrell, PR First, uh, for hosting us through these segments on the South Shore. Uh, this uh, office is great. Jim, you want to give us a one, little one minute about what PR First does as well? Sure. We're a public relations company. We started 20 years ago. We help businesses and organizations take advantage of the news media's willingness to publicize genuine news. So we help companies get visible in the media, we help them showcase their expertise, and we work across virtually every industry. And I'd have to say, in the long list of uh, reporters and uh, affiliates to the radio entrepreneurs, Jim Farrell is the easiest to work with. So that would make that would be a great endorsement for anyone, I think. If, I, if we have time, I, um you know, when I had my own business, Jim was my PR guy. Right. And uh, due to his efforts, articles that I wrote have been published all across the country in, in about 50 or 60 different magazines. You know, Jim Thank reminds me a little Thank bit about Gary much. Cooper. You know, I'm really going to go back to an old movie star. <laughs> he doesn't talk a lot. He shows his actions through his actions. Ask the people I work with if I talk a lot. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, you're not supervising me. Thank goodness. Uh, my name is Jeffrey Davis, and uh, this is Radio Entrepreneurs. We're going to take a break, but you know we're going to be back with more stories as soon as possible.